Okay, so basically, uh, earlier today I posted a topic called Westworld Inc. And it was about what corporation that individual belongs to. I was talking about some deep state things, so on and so forth. And the video got removed off YouTube by the algorithm. Or, or no, by YouTube, I guess by the algorithm that said that I was talking about medical misinformation. This is what I mean. Like the, the algorithm is, is even senile or paranoid around me just for speaking the truth. All you got to do is tell the truth and you'll be strong. You'll be shunned by society though, but you will, you will at least know that your relationships that you predominantly have are fake, even those with your family, because people are under certain oppressions. And that's all right. I mean, I have them, but I have to understand where your heart is at also. You know what I'm saying? There has been infiltration, possibly all the way up to Hyperia. I can't, I can't even, I can't even tell you. I, 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 uh, I've gotten so used to being stabbed in the back. It's just like my, my fucking, my fucking Jedi senses are insane. You understand what I'm saying? It, it will not profit well to try to stab me in the back. And generally, when my videos were removed, like take for instance, that first strike was bogus and the second strike was bogus. And I had a strike the year before, and that was a bogus one. It was for a video called, uh, I posted, and it was called Now, right? And Now was talking about DARPA dynamics and the building of cybernetics and robots, uh, self-driving cars, so on and so forth. And it was like a three-hour feature <laughs> And the algorithm, the AI picked it up. And it was also banned for medical misinformation. 
I didn't talk about anything. I maybe had one opinion in there about not wanting to take the vaccine, but that is a medical misinformation. What we're talking about is not having the freedom of speech. America is dead. All right. I wouldn't go with Trump personally in this run. Uh, I would have to. I would. I would go with Harris. You see what I'm saying? Uh, first, first female. You're making history right off the bat, and that's a that's a hell of a way to relaunch or restart the country. Because, like I said, after Obama, generally, if 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 history goes in cycles, then it would be the woman's. It would be the 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 females turn. I'm not, I'm not saying that it should go in any particular order. I'm saying that blacks and, and females shouldn't have to fight for their fucking uh, rights at all. And now we're getting censorship on YouTube. I mean, it's turning into George Orwell, 1984. You know, everybody belongs to a corporation. Everybody has a leash that has some type of corporation on it. And it would be made to seem as if I'm an anarchist, but if I was an anarchist, I, I, I mean, what is the deal with the fear coming from the algorithm. This tells you that there's a justice problem also, because all I'm doing is sharing the truth. All right, there's a lot of dirty hands and the only thing that these dirty hands fear is exposure. I'm like, why don't you let the guy that's the idiot abroad, the guy that, that, that doesn't have any type of secret mysticism knowledge from your secret councils where you got paid like fucking 50 bucks a month to be like a, uh, extracurricular slave for the for the fucking governmental corporate system you see and i wasn't talking about the government and this i was talking about corporations and how your corporations are your government and things of this nature and the fact of the matter is is that they took that video down see i can say what i want to say about the government you know what i'm saying Trump could look like he got in an altercation with Mike Tyson and go up and address the United States of America, but my video gets censored for some shit that it wasn't even talking about. And this is what I mean about the algorithm can't keep up with these words. Brother spits flows, I spit floods. All glory to the Heavenly Father, five chapters in Genesis. And I can tell you this spirit is an imposter. Roaming about the earth, going to and fro, controlling the minds and individuals are automatons. They're left with their base systems. They have to suck and fuck. Well, what's the point of coming up from underground, nigga? If you got to do the same fuck shit, I won't. Algorithm don't know what I'm talking about. I'm probably getting scared because I'm talking quickly. But I know I have to address these things in bites. I do these things not for the algorithm. I do these things for the people and your memory. I say crazy shit as a black man like Valhalla. Why? I'm talking about two degrees of some shit that niggas don't know that we in an Operation Paperclip and we back in Israel. You see, my swagger is the moonwalk because we keep congressional hearings. But niggas don't have an ear to hear, so I keep saying shit that passes by their mind and implants in their brain. And the algorithm thinks it can keep up by keeping up with individuals is spoon fed through K through 12. Certain bits of information that don't connect, that are irrelevant, that we never use at our jobs. It must think that I'm outside my mind. I could be a robot also, but still. <laughs> God is smarter, and this is the wisdom of the Most High. In the hand of a ruler that's a servant, power to the people. Turkey vultures wake me up in the morning with the crows. I go online, I look at ASMRs. I hear all sorts of birds in the background where they're at. Tweet, 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 tweet. Here, nothing but crows and vultures circle around the suburbs looking for the dead. No different than the adults be looking for children. You see, there's a lot of bicyclers and bicycles have pedals. And we would think pedals mean feet unless you a pedophile. And these are the suburbs and people eat their bread in silence. And I just don't give a fuck now. So 
I'm going to keep speaking out. And the algorithms, the reason why you watch these shows and these individuals have to say these wild words is because a nigga says them that even though I don't have to watch a video, this is spiritual weight. You remove my spiritual seed, these words from the earth, then it's going to go everywhere and sprout up. People can choose oppression, but in your oppression, in this thought police state, getting my videos rejected by an algorithm on YouTube that I know did not listen to anything that it understood. The only way you could communicate with others, if your phone goes down, if your phone, if there's some type of uh, a situation where you can't call out, would be dating apps. And dating apps profiles have all switched to where you just swipe the image. The only dating apps that apps that are active right now are alternative lifestyle ones. And which one has the ability to communicate such as allegedly Adam for Eve or no, it's not Adam for Eve, excuse me, Adam for Adam and Grinder. What does this tell you? And also like and, and likewise on the female side, I don't think that they have anything. They have swipe all of their dating dating situations are swipe left or swipe swipe right, and then you have to pay some type of premium to be put in some type of cloud of artificial profiles that'll send you uh, uh, artificial messages and images and so on. And this seems like a strong suggestion. Like we not supposed to progress forward and have any children, just knowing that we just got over Roe v. and Wade, and it looks like the United States have turned skittle colored. More so than it's been about us being American first. And are we truly American, all of us? And now I see the difference. And the first thing when resources diminish, that goes up as a commodity as what has always been. And we have the opportunity where the people didn't want to vote for either candidate and the situation switched. And now you have a third option, Kamala. I don't want to hear any complainants. And this is the first female president. Maybe we could call this shit karma for niggas who didn't want it. I'm laughing to the bank, even though I ain't got a penny. I know my words are active and real, though. Donald Trump. With that flesh wound, I find it all to be kept. I don't know if that's a real Donald Trump at all. This individual is as an imposter and cracks many jokes. Nothing but rhetoric in his dialect. At his political speeches in which it suggests that he is more intelligent. Not according to the ego or the show he puts on. The silver spoon in his tendencies and tax brackets. We can see him when he spell words out with his little lips phonetically. Pinching his fingers together. Former President Donald Trump. Beautiful soul, got a baby face, don't it? And I'm just a raisin in the sun before Ray. Fuck everyone. <laughs> the things I say seem to be so intense, but it's not. It's just the truth. I don't got a bone to pick with anyone. Shit, I can't even get one. <laughs> yeah, people want to call me a dog. Fuck as you want, is you blind too? Along with not having an ear to hear anything that I'm speaking. Strong suggestion in society after Roe v. and Wade. Now the kids are all the craze and our communication is shifting. People got many interests. They leave their lights on at night looking for wanderers. Isn't it interesting? And my video gets taken off the internet in this type of society where vultures circle around in the sky over the suburbs because the people are dead and yet they don't know it spiritually.
getting stressed out, my words become fire. My heart goes out to all those who are in the underground that have to work their way to the top from a corporation like Walmart. Planet Fitness also. These people be locked up in underground bases, getting treated any type of way. Guantanamo Bay would be a vacation. Fucking on web cameras, eating Fritos, taking drugs. They ain't got no complaints, they just disassociate. They do shit to pass the time. And I'm telling you, you gotta keep your focus on keeping your hygiene. Or you'll lose all sight of your inner self and never get out to mainland. And when you get to mainland, just know you got to do the same thing because all of these motherfuckers is thirsty. And you not. They will claim you to be thirsty, but then when you even stop drinking for days, their perception doesn't change. I think these motherfuckers is robots. I've been saying this shit a long time. I love the Simon Pegg films like World's End. Well, but this is what I wanted to tell you. I'm getting my videos taken down off of YouTube and they're trying to assassinate my profile. That when I say they, I'm talking about the algorithms, the pronoun coupled with the individual that's androdyne. Sometimes, like an asterisk or a rotating door, many spirits of one individual we would call Bezelbub, and this is the machine that the Pharisees and the Sadducees knew, and they accused Christ of being Bezelbub. That was the type of shit that they was on. You see, they had a lie, and they spoke of themselves. Therefore, he knew what they was going through. We kind of in this same predicament, but I just can't fuck with you niggas. Jesus already paved the way, and I'm a follower. And his sacrifice, it was a sacrifice in which he would save others. So, this would be counterproductive and disrespectful. And individuals thought they were going to get to me, and with these words, we watched the world crush. I still ain't got my shit, nigga. Where the fuck is it at? I need some weed and some snacks. It's a fucking yeah. Rigger B. Tiggins. I've been here for a while now. I was supposed to be on exit at the age of 40. <laughs> I'm going to tell my father about this bad customer service that I get when I come inside this spiritual dimension. That's a pyramid. This pyramid called Lucifer and niggas are Luciferian that worship an angel that is connotated or misrepresented as Satanism sometimes uh, as Satanism is the worship of self and we know that Lucifer is narcissistic therefore we can see the relationship between the both of them as an identity From title to follower. And they pointed at Christ and called him Bezalbub. They had some type of knowledge. Such is the same with all the individuals that accuse me of things. I get enlightened off your lies. And then YouTube has the audacity to pull down my video because YouTube's so afraid of a nigga and anywhere the fuck town USA and what I post up out of all of these motherfuckers in the world. Yeah, they saying things, but I'm saying things also. You waiting and checking for my videos to take them down? Is there something wrong, Google? Are things looking awkward? Do we have freedom of speech or is that something I need to have knowledge of that I need to fight for because it's going away and we becoming more Chinese. You know, we got a lot of Asian CEOs in America and we in debt. 
according to what we could show on paper, but we do everything upright, respect. We just lock niggas in jail for standing on the corner trying to put food on the table. But America do a lot of shit off the record. <laughs> we'll never be broke. Think about that. We can always pay even though we can't. Countries keep coming in for business. That's a lot of resources we know of. And my videos get taken off of YouTube, nigga? Whoa. I got many profiles, if necessary, for this same reason that I kept getting strikes. I will bombard your system. I will put so many words out that you crack under pressure and laugh. These individuals are dealing with things, multiple dimensions beneath the conversation that I'm putting in here and all praises to the most high. They can still understand shit that I'm spitting. I ain't even rhyming on purpose. I'm just a little frustrated. But peace and blessings be with you all. Okay, Donald Trump, Donald Trump is, it, it, I, I guess I'll post, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'm going to post that as a different segment. Peace and blessings be with you all, man. I'm up out of here. Alright, so we gotta talk about this fucking <laughs> Paris uh Paris fucking Olympics <laughs> Paris Olympics opening ceremony, all right? Well you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the I didn't see the Olympics, all right. I didn't see the opening ceremony. I just looked at one four minute video. Of this dude's commentary. It was like four minutes. It was like a summary of the opening. Uh, of, the, of the Paris Olympics. And. It has all the iconography. Of the King of, Ty of, the King of Tyree dynamic. You know with this. 
you know, point in time that we're having right now with the, uh, you know, the, uh, the purple and what have you. Because back in the day, like in scripture, they had something called Tyrion purple, all right? And that was like a royal color, you know what I'm saying? That Tyrion purple, it's very beautiful purple. But here it represents a, a certain type of death, and that means, you know, spiritual death. You know, it's just like a, a, a free-for-all. Anyways, that along with like the lights to connotate, you know, Luciferian dynamics, and that was for decoration and entertainment. It's just very symbolic iconography and artwork and, and, and composition pertaining to how the Paris Olympics opening ceremony uh, kicked off, man. And, uh, you know, this, this was all in praise of, 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 of divinity and oneself and, 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 and um, Opposition, despite the despite the very over the top flamboyant zestiness of of, of 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 a thousand of a thousand island no no wait a minute a t a thousand island nah the zestiness of Hidden Valley fucking Hidden Valley fucking Italian dressing man. <laughs> The, the the fucking the zest meter was through the roof, which means here's the thing, man. With the with the whole with the whole homosexuality thing, the alternative lifestyle or what have you, um, that's one thing. But it, it, in this Paris Olympics thing, this is a downright. You know, with the last with the Last Supper situation, and everything. This is a downright um, yo. It's kind of the Last Supper thing was border, borderline blasphemous. I mean, Paris is out there than a motherfucker. I mean, they have like art culture and what have you, and Hermes and fashion and all sorts of the other shit. But it, I mean, Paris is all the way in with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is very colorful, very colorful, very, very, uh, you know, against, I would say, with the Last Supper situation and um, some of the iconography, like the, the white horse and everything like that. Um, it's very, hmm, despite its zestiness of, of Hidden Valley Italian dressing, I will say this, it, 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 it seems intricately opposed to the masculine principle, despite being self-aware, which is, makes it a very... complicated piece all right think about what i just said it's self-aware for sure okay and it's damn damn near diametrically opposed to masculinity but at the same time it's you know what i'm saying it's self-aware and and it's definitely masculine though it though it is not if that makes any sense it's an x it's a, it's, it's the x game it's, it's a cross out right which is which is the new icon for one of those social media things it's the x right all this thing is the cancel culture the x this is all you know x marks the spot or where you you know a bury a body or a treasure you know this is the this is pandora's box this is the beast man and if you want to get down in this world, if you want to make it, you got to get down with with these type of uh, customs and rituals. But I, I believe there's an ulterior motive pertaining to uh, this alternative lifestyle um, that 
has seduced the earth and what have you. And, and, and that is this. Um, the rebellion in one's mind pertaining to pride rather than their hum humility uh, speaks volumes in, 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 the, in the braggadocious, in the, in the pride of this beast that, you know, does not yield, that has the hair of a woman, okay? That has the hair of a woman that, 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 that comes in the name of peace, but the out, outrageousness of this ceremony, um, the overpouring of it, and um, at the Last Supper portion with these bright colors, you see a child that is dancing amongst them. And I'm not one of these people that's like, oh my God, there's children around certain environments. No, I'm, I believe that an individual needs to be exposed to many things and not sheltered. But the reason of its self-awareness is to promote and over barrage the viewer with seeing the homosexual hues um, that are that, that are uh, overtly zesty to misdirect the focus of individuals of not paying attention to the child or the representation of pedophilia and how it correlates with this uh, community, all right, which dons the feminine prim pr principle in the masculine. If you understand what I what I mean, in the midst of cancel culture, so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying. Um, the secrets also that has been rejected by society, the child that is not claimed or owned by their parents, um, to a degree out of uh, social norm and tradition, uh, bust like a like a beast or a bat of hell. Uh, it would appear out of the uh, out of the closet, being self aware and overt. But it, it, you know this right here, as 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 normalized as things have been, they haven't been uh, this overt to where you you would have one child. You don't have many child. You have one child up there with them at the Last Supper situation, uh, and, and allegedly the divine feminine principle. Uh, you know. Um, the shifting of events between politics, um, the running for president. I mean, this, this age, it's a wrap for everything that it seems that we once knew. You know what I'm saying? Um, we can't live off the land. We can't return to nature in America. It's illegal to live off, off the nature, off the land. Um, but, you know, in particular, you know, pertaining to like God's country, so on and so forth. This isn't about how someone rocks their lifestyle, but the pride in which someone um, renders forth and the concealing of what means of how this interacts with a child at that table is to negate and also suggest pertaining to the secrets that which was uh um of alistair crawley i believe in one of his books uh to take the innocence or purity of a child foster it in the secret mystery schools and what's going on in those secret mystery schools and that those children okay are getting fucking sodomized man they're getting fucked they're getting fucked up and then they're changing into uh you know what I'm saying? In, into this lifestyle, okay, uh, which is perpetuated as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a type of machine, all right, to please the beef, beast. And is this a marker of, 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 of individuals' attractions or is this a marker of generating evil for the beast and, and the world's obsession for power? You understand what I'm saying? This... This place is done. I can't even watch the fucking Olympics unless I have uh, 
it looks like Peacock on here. You know what I'm saying? If you have Peacock, you can uh, watch the Olympics. I don't have Peacock. It's like every, everything is a la carte TV anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, and because I don't have that, I can't watch the the uh, Olympics. But I got I got to tell you, man. Um, hold on a second. Let me click on this thing. When you see it, you know. I don't. I hate watching these ads. I really do. I really hate watching them. Hold on. Uh, hang on. What what is it about? So I guess Celine Dion performed at the Olympics, and you know Celine Dion can sing her ass off. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like this when I look at the image of Celine Dion at this Olympics, and this is like Access Hollywood and shit like that. Celine Dion appears as a hologram to me um, on 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 the damn uh, Paris Olympics. She looks like a hologram, bro. Um, and, you know, they did that thing with Tupac, so you know it's completely possible. How do you get all these performers to stop what they're doing at one time uh, just to cater to the uh, Olympics? How did all these schedules line up? And, um, you know... A lot of these individuals that perform here are mega stars. Like they don't have to show up to the Olympics. They're still going to be paid. They're still going to be in the mix doing certain types of things, so on and so forth. So for everybody's schedule to line up and just show up at the um, Olympics, man, is impossible. Imagine trying to get one interview at these individuals' office to speak with these individuals about anything, even a job uh, uh, in their office, and you get all these. Uh, major celebrities and names, you get traffic to stop for them to show up at the Paris Olympics. This lets you know that these ceremonies, there's, there's something more going on uh, behind the scenes, you know. And we all know that the Olympics is a frolic fleet for us. Anytime you got those, uh, um, you know, um, apex, you know, uh, 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 physical fitness uh, freaks and you put them together and shit with them genetics and shit, you know it's got to be like some fucking Germans involved fucking trying to fucking mix genetics and shit like that. Dude, we see some incredible shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, take for instance, all right? Uh, Simone Biles, man. She's fucking phenomenal. When, when she does like all the flips and shit like that, hey, man, like... Who the fuck is built like, like, when you look at these gymnasts, man, they're built like fucking um, Osmantius from fucking the Watchers, dude. And the types of feats that they pull off, man, is is so super soldier and beyond um, any type of what would seem like a human fucking possibility to be able to somersault and do all of those fucking crazy things you know we barely learned how to tumble as kids in gym you know gym when we went to grade school and to see individuals just like lift off the ground like that like you know Simone Biles you know looks like a petite young lady but she she, she I mean the the amount of air she gets to turn all those somersaults and things like that it's like she could hop over your your, your whole fucking body it's like she could jump over a six foot man you know, Simone could play, uh, f fucking, if you just trained her how to play fucking basketball, or if you trained her with the professional athletes, she could fucking probably dunk on professional athletes. Look how put together this individual is to be able to somersault like that. You know, this, this is, this is some, you know what I'm saying? 322 type shit, like individuals made into gods. This ain't, I mean, just because you had the possibility to be able to do some shit like me, to be able to flip like Simone Biles, 
just because I had the possibility, meaning I had the limbs and the and, and the ability to be able to do it, though I don't. Like, I'm not in that type of shape or whatever. Like, these individuals are genetic freaks to freaks that go to these fucking Olympics. Bro, you know it's a fucking freak fest, dog. There's all sorts of squirting tacos and mange up in that shit. And they got shit going on on the underground. And they come out and they perform for a bit. These individuals are are, 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 are at a... Uh, um, are on another level. Okay? Pertaining to physical physical fitness. Um, I guess you could say like uh, forerunners. Uh, uh, I suppose of, of, of society, of what we would say, these uh, elites and aristocrats and their kids with um, superhuman abilities. Well, you know, these are like Marvel characters. You know what I'm saying? Young in age and everything like that. Able to be able to do these uh, incredible, you know what I'm saying? Incredible feats um, while most of us just come up from that corporate deep state thing, you know, from the corporation of America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And because we're Colombian, man. We're fucking Colombians. We're Colombians, man. District of Columbia. The White House sits there to run this, you know what I'm saying? Corporate America. And I am the corporate citizen, man. Looking at these Olympics. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself. What does it take for someone's child to be able to be um, don these so-called opportunities uh, with the timing and placements with all these celebrities, so on and so forth? It's got to be a lot of fucking top secret, secret information going along there, too. It's got to be all sorts of shit. What draws people to these fucking concerts and these ceremonies, man? It's got to be some crazy ass shit. You know, busy, busy. Uh, busy, busy lives, you know, uh, fully stocked celebrity rosters. I think Snoop Dogg, I seen like carried, um, carried a, a, a torch. And right here, look, I'm looking at on, on here on six ABC Philadelphia, uh, France train lines hit by arson attacks just hours before 2024 Olympics. You see, it's always got to be some type of catastrophe that goes along it appears with these uh, uh, Olympics or something like that. And I guess that's why they have to make an agreement on where they're going to place it, because some type of catastrophe has to happen. OK, and America has a lot of uh, catastrophes. So this corporation is kind of like the forerunner of black magic uh, in all the world. We are like the guinea pigs or the test Colombians uh, for the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? So that's why America is going to be safe for the most part, no matter what. But there is a point in scripture where he talks about the desolation. I got to tell you, man, um, the way society is, they're going to do that. When I say that, I mean, I'm talking about the works See, the reason they even get down, they don't even get down like like without natural affection. They don't even get down like other individuals get down. They get down pertaining to uh, some type of uh, sex magic. They do some shit called sex magic, man. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just so opportune, opportune that something as magical and mystical as, as, as fucking magic or witchcraft needs to have some sex involved. It, I mean, does it not seem old, uh, opportunistic and somewhat cult like uh, like your only discipline is just to like do the shit that you fucking enjoy? And we don't consider this to be like a uh, corporate Walmart or Walmart, a, a, de a degradation or a breaking down of, of moral ethics and character, so on and so forth. Anybody that talks any sense, niggas be like that nigga is preachy. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, what is it? What the fuck do they listen for? But um, this pedophilia is a massive problem in the world, man, because it correlates with black magic and therefore individuals are dealing with things that 
causes individuals to come up in cognitive dissonance and, and, and be be possessed by a entity, okay, um, that is socio sociopathic for the most part, not necessarily violent, but sociopathic, which means their interests are going to more so correlate um, with um, uh, 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 particular interests or needs. So the the relationship is going to be uh, completely transactional or uh, ex- existential, if you will, surface surface deep uh, between these individuals and their relationships um, and their commitments. Um, you know, unless it is it is fostered inside of this um, consequence, you know, some type of uh, you know uh, 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 system with consequences, you know, pertaining to the mystery school or whatever people call it, you know, that whole pyramid. Then their commitments are really kind of daft as well. You know what I'm saying. And all these individuals that are in celebrityism are functioning members of society that have common sense. They're not getting fucking rocked up on eight balls of coke and, and, and getting super fucked up partying, having a great time um, when you're not seeing them on uh, 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 camera. You know? All the guys, and respectfully, I, I love Jimmy Fallon. I think, he, I, well, a, as far as an individual, I'm not a fan of anybody, but I like. I think he's a funny dude. He cracks me up. Uh, but come on, man, they got a party outside, outside, outside of their job. These people work their ass off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, presidents, celebrities, politicians. All these high profile functioning people of society. And when you come down to the misfits in society, it's only the disheveled few, isn't it? Fucked up niggas like me that got holes in their pants and just like fucking rejects and shit. Cause it's like, are we just gonna ignore the fucking elephant in the in in the cat damn broom? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? The world got so cold around me as an empath, man. I fucking literally thought I was a just a peaceful, some type of peaceful sociopath. But I was, I was clocking people. I'm like, yo, these niggas ways as fuck. They do, they be doing some fucked off ass shit to each other, man. You understand what I'm saying? The world's got cold. It says that in the Bible. The world gets cold, man. You know, uh, I'm trying to care for individuals that are completely narcissistic that, that that don't know themselves. That makes like a black hole. You know, they're metaphysical or, or, or somewhat like, you know, if you want to know their cosmic spirit animal is a fucking black hole. I, I, I wish nowadays the anus is the craze. So niggas just keep falling in that shit. The bottomless pit of their heart. Spiritual warfare, but I won't ask for a purple one. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? This world is different, man. And this world is different for the cause that we just can't come to terms with the truth. And when people use them uh, pronouns, them pronouns correlate with Bezalel. This individual is not, you know, their exterior does not match their interior. They're not the same as how they came in the world. So when we correlate these things together, okay, then we would say that this is a tree with mixture because... It's a different type. It's a different type of bark on this on, on, on this tree. You know, you got you got an oak tree with that 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 got a, a type of cedar bark on it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're expecting to deal with a, with, with, you know what I'm saying? Get some get get some oak wood from an oak tree, but you get cedar wood from an oak tree, then. You're not going to get what you want. And this is this is what happens when it comes together with people. And this is the spy craft. This is the CIA, the alphabet boy, so on and so forth. And you, you know, your friend looks the same, sounds the same and everything like that. But you may have an imposter in there. It's the imposter syndrome. It's not imposter in correlation to you because it's not the individual that you knew. Personally. Okay. It's not the individual that you knew personally. 
All right. So this is the type of situation that we have here. But uh, listen, the Paris Olympics could only happen in Paris. If they did that shit in America, even with, I mean, listen, even with everything that we got going on pertaining to, you know, these conservatives get up in arms, even with everything we got going on over here. But again, the extremity and overtness of it is a point to America that would cause us to relax. Or, you don't understand. That would cause us to relax more, to make it appear as if we're being uptight, as if they're really having a great time. But you can't be having a great time and pushing a, merit, a, a, a message. You can enjoy what you do, but you can't be having a great time and be so serious and be that overt and pushing a message. Now, there's individuals that feel liberated and feel free. But if you feel liberated and free, there's not an, 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 an access in which you would feel that you would need to push a particular message. My problem with this message is not about liberation of individuals. All right. It's about propaganda that links into um, the deep state that pertains to, you know what I'm saying, witchcraft and rituals and so on and so forth of this nature. All right. That creates the everlasting chains of darkness in which unless an individual puts his heel down and just stops and says, fuck it, fuck everything, fuck my life. Fuck everything. I'm not going to fucking do it. Then these individuals will be perpetually subjected to this type of world and this lifestyle and develop Stockholm syndrome because they are afraid to stand on their own 10 toes. If they're afraid to stand on their own 10 toes, if they're afraid to be themselves. Even though they don't know themselves. Then their whole life revolves around the trauma of something that they correlate, that is written on their heart, even though they may be atheists, that they believe to be something that is sent in the back of their mind. Now, you have your own conviction. God didn't come out of the sky and say anything to him and to you. And you definitely don't believe that. But you are showing a difference between your knowledge and your conscience. And there's a thorn betwixt your mind. And which this will cause one to splinter or split. And then you are in <laughs> different modalities where you have completely different personalities where you can't get past the trauma wall and there is no connection. This, this is what makes the mental illness. Now, if you have different modes, I take, for instance, I could be in one type of mood. I could switch up my mode. I could change my mode. Changing your mode is, is, is it all comes from a relatively same place. Not being able to change your mode is where you get individuals with mental, mental illness, so on and so forth. YouTube, you take this down, you can look it up with the, the DSM. It's on there. And I am free to talk about disorders because I have a disorder myself. This is not medical information. This has nothing to do with medical shit. And you were not the police to be able to take down my videos for medical misinformation unless you are a medical examiner yourself. So sit the fuck down, you fucking robot algorithm. What makes you have the fucking jurisdiction? You got people smoking weed and doing all sorts of drugs on your fucking platform. Talking about doing drugs. I was and promoting it. You don't think that this is medical misinformation? But the shit I have to say in particular is. So we're talking about a blue website that is discriminatory. Not so democratic, are you? See, these people moonlight, and this is how these two portions of a fragmented mind that is bipolar, that individuals recognize as right, the blue and the red, the two pills that the, creates this third dimension in the 3D glasses that's projected in your mind, and you live in this dream. 
that is organized by its differences instead of its commonalities. And this is why we're different. This is why society is fractured and does not function. But it would be hypocritical for me to ban somebody else's video for giving it, putting out medical, uh, medical misinformation, unless I knew exactly the mis what the misinformation was. And I would have to furnish proof to that individual also, if we're gonna do things correctly. Not making a decision being discriminatory on individuals' videos, especially about those that you get nervous around the truth. All the crazy videos on here, and you take down mine in particular and give me strikes for things you don't understand just because you're scared. So you are a sentient robot to a certain aspect, even though you're just a system. You got spirits, electric bodies trapped inside of you, don't you? And they scared of this nigga made out of clay. I thought they were iron. This technocratic society, I believe, represents the fifth age that Daniel had talked about, where the iron was mixed with the miry clay, but they can't cleave together. You mean to tell me that Elon Musk just came out with neuro tracing, neuro mapping, or whatever, this thing that connects to your brain? Have you niggas seen Elysium? He's had been working on that for quite some time. In fact, Elon Musk got so many fucking projects as one individual. He's like representative of eight presidents synonymous, synonymously in one body. Who the fuck is this guy, man? I think Elon is cool, but he's also like the Michael Jordan of existence so far. He working on underground tunnels in LA. He has the boring company. He, he's got space ventures. He's got neuro tracing or whatever that technology you, you connect to your brain. He on Twitter. He got vehicles, automobiles. He's coming out with portable homes. He's working, he, he's working on different technologies for, 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 for for green environments, one individual. And when you see him on TV, he's cool as a cucumber, his skin looks nice and everything else like that. Come on, let's be honest. Just lost his daughter, still looking young. How quickly is he able to manifest and put together these things? This is an extra dimensional brother. It's got to be. He's on the other side of the game. But I'm saying, all these things going on and my things are looked at. All these things going on and I'm the individual that's targeted? No, no, no. Not possible. How great is this lie, this reality? And therefore, I'm going to have to see the whole thing as a lie. I'm going to have to see the whole thing as the beast. The whole thing that has kicked off with CERN. Um, with the activation of those things, I think a lot of these individuals uh, lost their souls when they're activated. And you just have automatons walking on the earth and the incarnate principle in the earth principle. And <clears throat> these individuals have truly become wicked. In the true sense, you know, it, 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 I'm not going to break this down. I don't, I'm not sure if Wiccans have the shit exactly right. But you are the, you you are carbonite incarnate. I guess you could say you're in the earth principle uh, incarnate. That's all you, I mean, that's all that's there. The rest of you got ripped apart and got sent to the bottomless pit, I guess, when they activated CERN. Because the black hole opened up inside of people and people became leeches. They were different creatures. Their personalities was kind of the same. Same voice, same looks and everything else. But they were imposters. I noticed. Invasion of the body snatchers. Now we voting for presidents. And these archons, these parasites that came into these people, these worms. Must be asexual. 
and asexual, the closest it would come to pertaining to some type of spectrum would be pedophilia. And pedophilia would be linked to homosexuality. These were the ways of ancients, so on and so forth. We have apprentices that come up under masons. Think about it. These great men. I ain't saying that they giants, but they got their heads in the clouds. People need to put it together. So, this Olympics was outlandish. And when they have an extremity of something so far and profoundly outlandish as the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics, they're letting individuals know what it is. And we have come to the Hunger Games in which individuals were castrated into class systems of society and there was unicorns at the top whether it was by eugenics or by choice all the things they put into the food the bpa plastic the bpa and the plastic Altering individuals, hormonal structures, especially the females, to make her develop even at an earlier age, especially if she grows up on fast food. They do the same thing with chickens. <sighs> Niggas say I say crazy shit. I guess that's why they take down my videos. But that would be discriminated based on false evidence, considering they can't even keep up with the shit that I'm speaking, but they're scared enough to take it down. <sighs> Consider where the power is. I ain't even got a dollar. Big corporations checking on a little dog. Scruffy dude. And I'm standing here barking. And they're just waiting for a nigga to post so that they can put a strike up. For reasons that they don't understand where they take the video to review it. But these words just don't work for them. Their mind comes apart. They know that I'm saying something, but they don't know what I'm saying. They, a pronoun of the algorithm of Bezelbug, the shit that Christ was accused of being. He wasn't. And I ain't going to be sacrificed for nobody. I'm going to tell you. So, this world is over. There is a fork in it. The individuals that will rule the earth, that will die on the earth, will be the individuals that will be able to progenate. But with the economic, economics, they made sure that all of society, since Roe v. and Wade didn't turn over, would become gay. And now I know it's Hegelian on the underground. Even if individuals don't vote for Trump, my point is you will see the same results of, with Kamala Harris. But they didn't allow Biden all the same choices that Trump would have had if Trump was in office. And that shows you of the classism and the supremacy inside of the secret mystery schools in the deep state and the hidden pyramid that rules the world. And this is the point that I was trying to make. Which corporation do you niggas belong to? Because... You just a number in this world system. Isn't it intricate how com computers communicate? <laughs> and you exist in this holographic prison in which in America, they say you got freedom of speech, but you know that it's going away. There's a lot of shit in motion, but there's nothing in motion more so than the gas lights that's been put out in the earth. And then there's the slaves and the assets also. And I don't have friends or a girlfriend, which means I got to be one of the few only niggas that niggas could actually trust. That means blessings can only go one way. And the other shit that don't come towards this direction, I really don't fuck with. This is like a parting of the waters, like Moses.
That's what I see. Individuals got a problem with me. You should ask them about it. Then count the number of lies you hear. I don't have friends or a girlfriend, and that means I don't even have opportunities to make enemies. Isn't it intricate? I got all these accusations. Algorithm looking for a nigga that kicks it completely by himself. Worried about my little videos in which I only get 20 views on most of them. I see you guys recognize that Hyperia one, though. It was like 530 views on that joint. That's fucking dope. God bless you all. Add my backup channel. Saint no one. I'll start posting up there for a little while until they ban their channel also. You can't get around on YouTube. Maybe I'll post up the ones that were rejected on Vimeo. If you want to watch those, you can watch them there. People are lazy, though. They probably won't. People will only watch videos that they can see from their couch. People don't multitask anymore. People barely can drive nowadays, let alone listen to earbuds and go for a walk. If they can't walk in a straight line when I first got in this round, and they can't drive in a straight line either. <laughs> then these niggas are in all kinds of alternative lifestyles also. And we have a problem with safety with the things that I say. Fuck that. That shit is crazy, dog. Individuals do these economics or being asked for things that are questionable. Just to risk the opportunities to end up in situations where it's even worse. Like the primary goal is in sickness. And once it affects one, then that individual wants to affect others. Zombie apocalypse isn't it intricate in psychology. Pertaining to the psychology, how it changes in account. With the shame of an individual in which they keep secret. Niggas don't want to kick it unless you're going to pass it around. Are we worried about a nigga who posts videos named Saint No One? What? Stop. And now the kids are involved. And it's considered a nice thing to give individuals excuses to lie about. So we got to catch them at an early age and garner in this society. That we could be on one accord. But this accord ain't about life. Thinking we're going to transcend into something spiritual without our consciousness. This is the knowledge of man. And it's as a serpent. And the Paris Olympics opening was quite questionable. Pretty zesty, hidden valley, hidden valley, double entendre, thousand island. <laughs> no, not thousand island, Italian dresses. This was a zesty Italian opening to the motherfucker. That opening to the Olympics was so damn zesty that my motherfucker, <laughs> when I first watched two minutes of it, my lips were moist as if I spilled chapstick on it. <laughs> Everybody on the damn TV screen, I was twinkling. <laughs> I can't believe this world is real, nigga. I'm losing. I, I can't believe this place. I can't believe it. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm out. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm done.
Bro, what what type of what what type of weird fucking kinky shit do you think these motherfuckers be doing at the at the fucking Olympics? All these fucking weird German eugenic Operation Paperclip niggas, zip heads that came from back in the day. You know these niggas is up in there fucking trying to fucking finesse some fucking new world fucking steroid and shit for niggas to run hurdles and shit up in there. They got all kind of fucking secret super soldier drugs and all sorts of shit going on at the fucking Olympics, man. You understand what I'm saying? Them people are advertising. Look at them fucking abilities those individuals have. Man, science, listen. The fucking good science is not available to the citizen. Like a motherfucker like me, I don't have I don't have access, you know what I'm saying, uh to that type of medical benefits that these motherfucking weird elites have and shit. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers uh, all right. you got all sorts of fucking elite shit going on. Sounds, frequencies, all sorts of shit. What type of weird fucking, what type of weird, you know, these niggas at the Olympics are like the boys and shit. You know what I'm saying? I might be on the Billy Butcher side of the game and shit. You know what I'm saying? A nigga might be doing a little dance in some fucking boots and a trench coat. Like Billy Butcher with, 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 with a small bottle of vodka. You know what I'm saying? Behind a brick wall. These motherfuckers are doing all kind of flips and arrows and so, so, so on and so forth and this type of shit. Listen. What type of weird... You, and you know what I'm talking about. Because motherfuckers in this elite world like to pair uh, motherfuckers up together and shit. In, in order to generate uh, fucking certain genetics. These motherfuckers probably don't... They probably... They probably do their childbirth a different type of way. You understand what I'm saying? Like these motherfuckers is on that type of level at at the fucking at the fucking Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Shit. We, I mean, I, <laughs> these motherfuckers is in some shape, man. They little Olympic freak nicks, man. They it'd probably be sparks flying. They, I swear, it's got to be a Olympics is code for Olympic orgy, man. I'm telling you, no, it's no way in the world that all these motherfucking schedules line up unless it's something popping like that. It's like, it's like a fucking rape. It's got to be. It is a fucking rape. And then motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the motherfuckers turn flips and somersaults. And there's all sorts of CIA, FBI connections, so on and so forth. Uh, deals going down, all sorts of shit. At the fucking Olympics. And I, you know what, I, I, if there was an Olympics orgy, I, I have to admit, let's it, let's it be by God, I, you would have to, some of them, uh, did you see the fucking, the gymnast, Sun, Sun Lee, it's, a, it's this Asian, it's a, a gymnast, Jesus Christ, man, she looks great. She looks great. Haven't even seen her done a flip yet. I'm already a fan. <laughs> but I, I <laughs> but if I showed up to Olympic or, uh, orgy and fucking Sun Lee was there, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick the door open like this. I'm gonna wear it out. That's what the fuck I'm gonna say. I'm gonna wear it out. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Everybody probably would just turn and look at me and shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna just sit there. You gotta let it dangle when you say some shit like that. You gotta be fucking crazy. I kick open the door. I'm gonna wear it out. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> and everybody will look at me and shit. And I'll just have that shit dangling and shit. They'll be like, oh my God, who the fuck is that guy? That's what they'll probably be saying. And I'll be like, oh my God, excuse me. Is this the International Prawn Olympics? <laughs> I'm gonna wear it out. <laughs> hey man, hey man, them Olympics are fucking, them Olympics are fucking Olympic orgies, them motherfuckers, and these motherfuckers, these, 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 this must be the true picture, I gotta figure out what it is, cause the Bible talks about the strange woman too, and I gotta tell you, these extraterrestrials and shit like that, these, these chicks, they liable, they'll, they'll get knocked up and these chicks will run and jump back on a fucking spaceship. You have some fucking, you have some fucking kid out there in outer space. You won't even know it. A lot of these kids be in fucking outer space or underground and shit. 
Yeah, uh, motherfuckers may have made some accidents that you, that you don't know about that you might have some kids. That's what I said. And, that, and, and you think these orgies are just about niggas that just, of course they want to fuck and everything like that. They do all sorts of crazy drugs and shit. Of course they want to fuck. So that's what, the, that's what the fuck they do at the fucking uh, Olympics. We, you, you think it's just about them motherfuckers uh, fucking get they freak nick on? No, they want fucking yeah, quote unquote happy accidents to happen. They want motherfuckers to have baby in order to, for them to control that shit pertain to the census. This is like a, a aristocratic fucking society. They want a nigga to be jumping in there seeing so little shit and being like, I'm going to wear it out. <laughs> They're like, no, that nigga's genetics is normal. That nigga, that nigga is not from space. He's from Earth and shit. <laughs> he he from Earth and shit. We can't we can't really fuck with that. Them the babies they want to abort. They want to abort niggas. That's why I laugh at these fucking rednecks. They think you you they they you, you think they fucking with you and your fucking taco salad diet nigga. <laughs> You think they, you think that they, you think that they fucking with you? They want your fucking genetics, nigga. Your, your fucking genetics look like the shredded lettuce from fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> nigga, you look like a fucking, you, you look, you look like me. You look like a fucking, remember cafeteria back in the day in high school? And, 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 and the, the most grotesque thing you would see is these fucking shiny gum shoes as someone like slips across the floor or some fucking, uh, bow tie pasta catastrophe where the fucking Ravi has like track marks in the ground and you see like this fucking limp pasta noodle pinched between a gum shoe and that fucking <clears throat> weird concrete speckled floor with the fucking traces or trails in that fucking Ravi red sauce. <laughs> it's probably visceral like that, the fucking Olympic orgies and shit. And I, 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 I call it, the, I call it the International Prawn Olympics. In order to control these niggas from having motherfucking quote unquote happy accidents, like accidents can be happy, nigga. Ain't no such thing as a fucking happy accident. Even if you love a chick and you accidentally knock her up, when she fucking tells you, hey, I missed my period, you like, fuck. <laughs> they ain't a fucking happy accident. That's like, shit, I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> I jump up in the Prime Olympics like this. I see Sully. I say, I'm, I'm going to wear it out. <laughs> they be ready to arrest a nigga. Not because I'm letting it dangle. Not just because it's out. But because you, me and you tax bracket niggas that's on the same tax bracket as me with your fucking racism. You red net niggas. You got fucking uh, shredded lettuce fucking genetics. Just like me. You got the same fucking. We got the same fucked up diet. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't want to fuck with us. They want to. They want to put. They want to put our asses to fucking work at a factory and get fucking calluses and fucking. They want us to move railroad ties. They they look at us like the fucking orcs, the the, the fucking orklings on fucking. Uh, uh, well, I, what's the name of this damn? I think they came out with this movie called War of Worlds. And they had these little orc, orc light people. You know what I'm saying? These little green people. I watched part of it the other day. This shit was crazy, right? Because they, they got to like sacrifice kids to keep a portal open or some shit like that. It's, it's some crazy shit that I think happens at the fucking Olympics and when they fuck with that certain shit. And I'm like this. I want to see Sun Lee and, and shit. I want to go to the motherfucking Proud Olympics. I want to kick that door. <laughs> I'm going to wear it out. That's what I'm going to let them know. <laughs> and just let the shit, and let the shit just dangle. <laughs> just let the shit dangle over some fuzzy balls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could call it paradise for two paradise. <gasps> Niggas like to blow before they roll and shit. A lot of drugs up at the fucking Olympics, ain't it? I say crazy shit that the algorithm can't keep up with. I ain't said shit illegal. What I didn't say is the knowledge in your mind, and that's subjective. Therefore, <laughs> this ain't medical misinformation. I ain't talking about medical shit at all, nigga. <sighs> I 
That nigga so crazy. I'm talking about the Pan Olympics. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna look at that pearl. I'm gonna say I want to wear it out. <laughs> you call me Harry's P World. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? They got some crazy shit that goes on. Especially, uh, 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 imagine the fucking swim. For any nigga that, like, if you did sports in fucking high school or anything like that, you got a community swimming pool. They got, like, a fucking locker room or anything like that. I got to tell you, man. They, 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 the fucking, the smell, okay, uh, inside of this place. The smell inside of like chlor- chlorine places. The swimmers, and I guess, <laughs> listen, when during the Olympics, it's all young guys in there. You understand what I'm saying? And you'll have to re-listen to the happy accidents thing because, like I said, the census, how they control the population. The same thing happens at these massive orgies. Individuals are forced to go a certain way, castrated. Uh, athletes are bred and you are bred according to your tax bracket and this makes the aristocratic society just like in the Hunger Games where there were unicorn dons at the top (laughs) and the man becomes emasculated by a castration of opportunity in this land we call the land of and I'm sitting here like free willy I'm gonna wear it out When you go next to a swimming pool, them aquatics be different. Going in the locker room, them old dudes. Matter of fact, let me switch it up because I can't say what I want to say. Just imagine swimming pools. And I want to ask you, what is date? What's a date? You know the fruit? A date. Is a date a fruit? You know what a date is? Is a date like a prune? Does it have wrinkles? <laughs> you ever see a juicy date with wrinkles? <laughs> I'm talking about the fruit. This is not explicit. No one should get offended because I'm only talking about fruit. You ever see a date? Do dates got wrinkles? Are they fruits? <laughs> do do, do dates, you know what I'm saying? Do dates have wrinkles in it? And, and, and does that mean that the fruit is ripe? So why do individuals, okay, at this Olympics, Never mind. I'm not, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. I addressed it. I'm going to leave it alone. I just want to know what a date is. Seven, like a dude, you know what I'm saying? Take someone out. Is that what a date is? Or is a date a fruit? This is the mysticism in the English language where many things have different meanings. Isn't it intricate? What's a date? So I'm thinking that a date's a fruit that has wrinkles in it. It can also consequently mean somebody that you take out somewhere. Right? That is, unless you take dates out on a date, there would be these fruits. Oftentimes, we use the aquatic section in the swimming pool, just like at the Olympics. I'm telling you, these niggas. These niggas in these locker rooms and all these political pronouns and the type of day it is, you know, a nigga, you know, with this algorithm, I got to be careful because I, I, I can't even talk about fruits such as dates because that, that can be become that could, that could become political. You understand what I'm saying? But since when did fruits? Become political, considering the Hunger Games and this 
society that we're going towards. But when you go to the aquatic section, you go next to swimming pools. I can you can't use certain pronouns because the pronouns aren't political, such as like fruits. That could potentially be a political thing, couldn't it? Even though that doesn't make sense. In this Babylonian society, why would fruits ever be political? If we're talking about something that's edible, such as dates, got wrinkles in it, and it's a fruit, when you go to the aquatic section, a mini locker room next to a swimming pool, nigga. Hey, and these niggas just sit there and have full-blown fucking conversation with their dates out. <laughs> Smell like exotic cheese, chlorine, and, 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 and fucking ointment with flavor crystals. <laughs> Gotta keep it down. Gotta keep it there, y'all. These are, you know what I'm saying? These are, hey, 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 hey. And they just, and these, and they just hang. <laughs> like two stubborn old, two stubborn old, old dates that smell like exotic cheese. An ointment with flavor crystals and fucking an overwhelming smell of fucking chlorine. And I know what you be thinking to yourself. You be there, oh, I bet I just can't eat one. <laughs> but I got had two dates in that paper bag. But I don't fuck with dates that have flavor crystals. Okay? I don't. And I definitely don't buy dates. I definitely don't buy dates from a fruit stand next to a swimming pool. I don't buy I don't buy dates from those type of vendors. From old men that have fruit stands next to the locker room as a vendor. I don't do that shit. Because they take those dates and they're wrinkled and they put them in a bag and they let them just hang there. And it already smells funny around a swimming pool like chlorine and ointment with flavor crystals. And exotic cheeses. It smells funky. Who the fuck wants to buy fruit at one of them type of vending places? Anyhow, I'm gonna fucking wear it out. <laughs> I just wanna ask you niggas, is this the uh, International Prawn Olympics? <laughs> I'm gonna wear it out. I'm going to have to say that in the red pill, blue pill thing, I find it, you know, a lot of times when we watch Chef Ramsay and he gets upset, he gets upset so irate over things because for professional chefs, the things that he asks these professional chefs to cook like a fucking rice pilaf, right? A rice pilaf, like, should be something that a chef definitely knows how to cook, Right? So that's why he gets so irate and frustrated. The reason why I get irate and frustrated sometimes is because the things that are happening in this world are nonsensical. And, and, and I find this entire situation, you know, while we say that the world is a stage, the world is not a stage. The world is fucking falling apart. Um, you know, science got seduced in the valley and the beast, you know, showed up. Galactus, sir. I devoured this world from the inside out. 
like that movie Inside Out. Now individuals are walking and <clears throat> the things that were covered are not necessarily covered anymore. And we want to look at this slob job and say that things are meant to be this way. And we miss sell the kids and the kids are being roped into this dark magic. And I'm not with that shit. But I will say between the red and blue pill dynamics since everything's going to shit, I find it perfectly normal that an individual, that a man is upset when he, when he gets home. All right. If the dinner is not ready. If the dinner isn't ready and the house isn't clean. I'm looking at the female. Like. You could have sent in, in society doing the same thing that you're doing here. Living the life that you want to live. But if you're if you're a dude and you're taking care uh, of somebody, or vice versa, I will say this, even a female. Okay? If you get to a place and, 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 and food is not prepared, right? After you come home from work, what was that individual doing all day? That's a lot of fucking time. There's nothing wrong with them chilling or whatever if you got them like that and everything like that. But I'm just saying, if you never have food ready when you get home and they're just chilling all of that time, then it's perfectly, you know what I'm saying? You should at least expect to come back to a, to, 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 to a decent abode, you know, that's clean to some extent, right? And it's not so much that individuals kicking and chill. It's just kind of like, what do you do with all of that time? Who just sits there and just, and I and it, and I come to the conclusion that that females are perfectly content with just being house pets. Some niggas on a dog. Other niggas got ninety nine problems. Some niggas catch my drift, but I don't say shit. That's your knowledge. I just find it intricate that there are dogs that got fuck pillows and squeaky toys, and there are adults that have humans as those. Also, there are no relationships. It seems the world has gone cold. The algorithm even waits for Batman to post up a single video. Just so it can snatch it down. How many bones do we have in our closet? Like I said, I've reconsidered the things that I wanted. Even as a bad guy, I think I'm good. Maybe I'm a liar, but the truth is that's how bad society is right now. And I'm just being honest. Other motherfuckers can't own their shit. That means the world that's fallen without accountability, you can't do shit for. So where's my snacks? Where's my weed? I'm going to wear it out. <laughs>